In an airport, a plane is trying to take off while the police open fire on it. Inside the plane, Franklin knows that they're about to crash and sees his life flashing in front of his eyes. He's a tech blogger known as Remedy, and he writes about achieving optimal health. Sitting next to him is Sig, the owner of a pharmaceutical company that released a medicine knowing it was highly addictive and lethal, causing thousands of deaths. This all started three months ago. Desperation drives Franklin to a job as a ticket taker at an event where he hopes to interview Anton, a health and tech guru. A late arrival and an unfortunate first impression hamper his chances, but a chance encounter with co-worker Jala sparks a connection. She sets an alarm on Franklin's phone for a post-presentation meeting. In a backstage bathroom rendezvous, Franklin is aided by Andy, who provides a stolen tri-band for access to the presentation. Sneaking past guards, Franklin witnesses Anton's arrival with the mysterious Ingram. Anton, sensing an intruder, questions Franklin, but with an unexpected twist, he allows him to stay. Anton unveils the Tri-Band 5, a revolutionary device promising the natural enjoyment of healthful activities. The presentation takes a chaotic turn when a disgruntled guard storms the stage, claiming Anton's company controls everyone. Franklin intervenes, ensuring the guard's arrest. Anton, grateful, promises Franklin an interview. In the aftermath, Franklin gets his hand bandaged, losing his Tri-Band to the head of security. A chance encounter with Anton's lost ring raises suspicions. When Franklin touches the stone, a surreal loop ensues. The same events repeat, leaving Franklin unnerved and questioning reality. Concealing the ring, Franklin heads to the restaurant, haunted by the echoes of an inexplicable time loop. While waiting for Jala, he looks at the ring again, and when the waitress checks on him, she touches the ring, and the moment resets again. Franklin checks the time on his phone to confirm that the ring turns back time and tries to use it again, but the stone has gone white and needs time to recharge. When the waitress comes by again, he keeps the ring away from her. Then he does another test using his phone's stopwatch and discovers the ring can go back for exactly 57 seconds. Franklin discovers the mysterious power of the ring, realizing it can manipulate time for precisely 57 seconds. Testing its limits, he navigates through scenarios, resetting moments at will. When Jala arrives for their date, the two decide to spend the evening at a charming location. During their conversation, Franklin learns about Jala's passion for art, and he shares his work as a tech blogger. The night takes an intimate turn, but Franklin's use of the ring transforms him into an ideal lover by fulfilling Jala's desires before she expresses them. The following morning, as Franklin and Jala enjoy breakfast together, Renee and Calvert report to their boss, Sig. Suspecting the airport attack might have been a publicity stunt, Sig instructs Calvert to investigate Franklin. Concerned about the impact of the tri-band on his pharmaceutical profits, Sig tasks Renee with discrediting its effectiveness. Unaware of the brewing storm, Franklin and Jala's relationship deepens. To retrieve his towed car, Franklin uses the ring to win money at a casino, attracting attention from a skeptical Calvert. Despite Franklin's attempts to leave the casino peacefully, he is attacked by the staff. A time loop ensues as Franklin tries various approaches, with Calvert eventually intervening. Calvert's curiosity grows, leading to an invitation for lunch and an offer to meet Sig, which Franklin declines due to suspicions about Sig's involvement in lethal medicine. In a surprising turn of events, Jala visits Franklin, discovering the transformation in his apartment. Franklin's newfound financial success, fueled by the ring's powers, marks a turning point in their relationship and sets the stage for deeper intrigue and unforeseen consequences. When she uses Franklin's computer, she discovers a wallpaper of a woman, and Franklin finally explains himself. That's his twin sister, who died of an overdose four years ago. She had been in a car crash and was given Sig's medicine, which made her an addict. Franklin sells serious articles to the newspaper with his real name, but on his blog, he uses the nickname Remedy to talk against evil companies like Sig's. Jala calls him heroic and promises to keep his secret, so Franklin reveals he's bought a bunch of painting supplies for her. The couple is about to embark on a ride in the new car when Franklin receives a call from Anton, signaling the beginning of a pivotal interview. Anton gifts Franklin and Jala tri-bands, and they delve into a discussion about Anton's revolutionary invention. Anton shares his vision of eradicating the need for medicine using quantum particles. The interview concludes with Anton encouraging Franklin to follow his sense of justice. Contemplating a meeting with Sig, Franklin seeks Jala's advice, and she encourages him to pursue justice. In an intense encounter, Franklin confronts Sig about his sister, creating a time loop to manipulate the outcome. 
Sig, intrigued by Franklin's luck at the casino, proposes a bet, leading to Franklin securing a new job with Sig. Franklin's strategic move involves gaining Sig's trust to access files and expose the company's wrongdoings. He uses the ring to propose to Jala, and the couple envisions a brighter future. Franklin proposes a rebranding event to Sig, establishing himself in the company. As Franklin and Jala move to a beautiful house, Sig's suspicions intensify. Franklin wins at the casino using the ring, but Sig is unable to discern the trick. Renee attempts to extract information from Jala, but her efforts prove futile. The couple joins Sig on a trip to Miami, where Franklin's ability to manipulate time faces a new challenge. A sudden attack at the casino prompts Franklin to use the ring to save Jala. The aftermath paints Franklin as a hero, but a revelation about the attacker's connection to Sig's company raises questions. Franklin, digging into the shooter's background, discovers a suspicious link to Sig's company. Franklin's inquiry into the shooter's motives uncovers a past cover-up within Sig's company, escalating tensions. News outlets hail Franklin as a hero, but Renee and Calvert grow wary of his actions. Franklin confronts Sig with newfound knowledge, unraveling the shadows within the company. Moments later, the duo is at a bar out of town. Sig shares some shots and gifts Franklin his car, then he takes him upstairs where a bunch of women are waiting. Franklin tries to say no, but at that moment he realizes his drink has been spiked and he can't defend himself. The women drag him in for some fun, and Sig records the whole deal. The narrative delves into a darker turn as Sig exploits Franklin's vulnerability, spiking his drink and orchestrating a compromising situation. Franklin, in a disoriented state, wakes up in the middle of the night, rushing back home to find Anton there, having bought all of Jala's art. The tension between Franklin and Jala escalates as they argue over the morality of Franklin's choices. Anton's teasing departure leaves Franklin to face Jala's wrath for missing her event and returning under the influence. A heated argument ensues, leading to a struggle that ends with an accidental fall into the pool. Franklin, using the ring, rewinds time to rectify the situation, only to discover a new layer of complexity. People touching him during the rewind remember the changes. Jala, feeling betrayed, leaves, prompting Franklin to contemplate the consequences of his actions. Determined to expose Sig's crimes, Franklin resorts to drastic measures, confronting Renee to obtain evidence from her safe. A series of rewinds and confrontations unfold, each attempt bringing new challenges and revelations. Franklin's quest for evidence intensifies, leading to a daring move where he coerces Renee to reveal the safe combination. Frustration mounts as he encounters obstacles, resorting to desperate measures to extract the truth. The tension rises as Franklin struggles to navigate the complex web of his actions. Franklin, armed with the stolen evidence, partners with Andy to broadcast Sig's crimes during a high-profile basketball game. The stakes escalate as Franklin attempts to expose the truth to the world. A tense moment unfolds as Andy grapples with the decision to participate, highlighting the moral dilemma faced by those entangled in the web of corruption as the video exposing Sig's crimes goes live. The world witnesses the security footage unveiling the dark secrets of Calvert's actions. The truth behind the shooter's wife's death emerges, revealing the sinister nature of Sig's medicine. Franklin, ready to leave town, finds himself knocked out and wakes up in an airport. Sig, escalating the stakes, drags Franklin toward a private plane, revealing that Jala has also been kidnapped. As they're pushed together, Jala tells him she's proud of what he did, and Franklin asks her to use the ring. Jala touches the stone and steps on the guard's foot to escape, running toward the now-arriving police cars. Franklin is pushed into the plane, and it takes off, flying above the police who are opening fire on them. Amid the chaos, Jala's pride clashes with Franklin's uncertainty as they navigate their perilous situation. The narrative takes a dramatic turn as they board the plane, evading the police but hurtling towards an uncertain fate. The tension escalates as bullets damage the plane's engine, setting the stage for a life-altering decision. A bullet causes the engine to start failing, and Calvert wants to land, but Sig tells him to keep going. Franklin wonders what to do with the ring, and Sig suddenly touches him, causing time to rewind. As Sig discovers the ring's power, he attempts to alter fate, but Franklin, harboring resentment, welcomes the impending disaster. Desperation and fateful decisions unfold as the plane hurtles towards its demise. Sig's attempts to manipulate time fail, and Franklin, indifferent to the consequences, smiles at the prospect of Sig's demise. The crash becomes inevitable, setting the stage for a riveting sequence that alters the lives of those involved. A desperate Sig runs to Calvert to make him turn back, 
but it's too late, and the plane crashes. Survivors emerge from the wreckage, Renee, Calvert, and Franklin. However, the narrative takes a tragic twist as the plane explodes, claiming Sig's life. The arrival of the police and Jala at the crash site adds another layer of intensity to the aftermath. Anton arrives with his assistant, revealing Ingram's deliberate decision to let Franklin have the ring for testing. The revelation unfolds that the ring is crafted from quantum crystals, and Anton extends an offer for Franklin to join him. Franklin, haunted by the echoes of addiction, refuses, shattering the ring in a defiant act of liberation. Anton's shocking response propels the narrative into unexpected territory. Franklin, resolute in his decision, returns the tri-bands, rejecting the allure of power. The calculated exchange between Franklin and Anton culminates in a powerful moment of defiance, as Franklin and Jala choose to forge a future untethered from the shadows of the quantum ring. The tale concludes as Franklin and Jala, liberated from the enigmatic technology, embark on a journey to build a life together. The narrative weaves a tapestry of redemption, resilience, and the triumph of human connection over the allure of power.